Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to make this picture right here. Are you ready? Uh, that one right there. See that? I'm going to show you how I did that. Here we go. First of all, we need the bird. And then we need the lion. And then we need to get the lion out of its picture and into the bird picture. So we take the polygon lasso, and uh, you can set the feather to zero. It's probably pretty good for this. And we're just going to get a whole bunch of the lion. Chop it out of there. Doesn't have to be too tidy. Nobody's worried about that. All we need is the lion in the picture. So, boom, get your move tool and slide it up there. Now, it's going to have to be resized, and uh, that's to be expected. But for right now, let's get this one out of here. Bam. Um, let's pull this down a bit. Go up to your navigator and click out a little ways and uh, um, and get your sizing tool. Uh, control T and click in here for scale. And uh, come up here to the top to your tool options. If you don't see that, it's under window options. And there's a little lock thingy right here in between your width and height that locks your constraint aspect ratio. So what we do is uh, grab the corner and shrink it down to about... 66% or so, and say OK. Then uh, we bump back in, control spacebar, and click to 100%. And I would say that we are very close to where we need to be. Let's kind of bump it around a little bit, move it up some. Uh, I don't know, that looks pretty good. All right. <coughs> So here we go. First thing we need to do is create a layer mask. So we're on layer one, and uh, let's rename that. Double click and type in lion. Hit your enter. And then down at the bottom of your uh, uh, layers palette, you need to uh, click on this little icon right here. That creates a new layer mask. And uh, layer masks set your uh, colors to default, black and white. And if you grab a brush, and you set your opacity to 100% and you get a fair size brush say about that big it starts taking out what you don't want and now this is not erasing it's just hiding it okay so if you switch to a white paint brush it puts it back and we'll show you that in a little bit okay we're going to just kind of knock some of this out a little bit you need to make sure that you get all of your little outside edges cleaned up. Now then, we go to a much larger brush and a little bit less opacity and um, kind of knock that hard line off of there and go to much more opacity. Let's get a bigger brush yet. Very big brush. And um, just start bumping this stuff out of here, blending it in. We're not, like I said, we're not erasing anything. So it's starting to look like that, and that's looking pretty good. So let's, uh, uh, what do we want to do next? Let's get in a little bit closer. We'll go with a, uh, 35 pixels again and come up to 100% and let's come down here and just get in a little bit closer. Let's go quite a bit smaller. So a little smaller yet. And we're going to come in here and do some of that. And do a little cleanup up here. And now I'm going to show you why I like using the layer mask so much better than I like erasing. We're going to mess up and just goof up that ear. And then I'm going to do something dramatic. Uh, you cannot do this with the eraser, but you can with the layer mask. I'm going to say File. Save and close.
then we're going to go file open recent the birdie again and there it is with all of your mistake and and what's in your history nothing right so let's go uh, we've got the brush we need to switch to white instead of black it's because white will paint it back in there but if we're on the right layer um, there it is the ear is painted back in switch back to black trim it up a little bit and it's starting to look pretty good bump out and we're going to leave it right there for the time being because this is starting to get to be kind of a large file what I'll probably do is go ahead and clean some of this stuff up here let me show you how I do that so just so you can see um, you just start getting in really tight with it just taking your black brush and using smaller and smaller brushes picture this size you shouldn't have to go lower than five to a big brush get some more out anyway I'll go ahead and do that and I will be back in just a minute